Welcome cool cats and doggies to another episode of Feekin' Sneaks. Today we got another video in our series, Coppington, a season of dubs. Yeah, a season of dubs, we got another one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on that notification so you can get new content from us. We're trying to push the envelope maybe twice a week, so make sure you join in, you know, fuck with us. Now today we'll be doing a full review of the Air Jordan 13 Shatter Backboard 13, I'm, I'm sorry, Starfish. But before we do that, run the video and then we'll get into it. Right in front of me, you see a classic. I'm, I'm gonna go stop playing. We just got a box for shipping. This sneaker's inside. So, what we have in front of me, obviously, is the Air Jordan 13. I'm gonna be opening this box. It might get a little loud, but you know, that's what you gotta do when you do unbox. I have not seen the box inside. It might be a different box. We're gonna find out together. And yeah. As I open this box, I want to just inform you that I have my, my kick brick right here to the right of me and um, it fell, so. I'm in the doghouse because my girlfriend knows it. The second one broke. Well, as you heard it, the second one I broke. Anyway, back to the review. <laughs> there we go. It's just a classic Air Jordan 13 box. Now, if you look at the tab of the box, you'll see that it says Air Jordan 13 and it says Starfish. If you're familiar with sneakers, you would know that that's a new colorway, which is weird. Um, I don't know why they just didn't do Shattered Backboard. Um, Shattered Backboard is a one that came out in three different colors. The Air Jordan 1 in this color, the Air Jordan 1 in this color. I don't have those two, the one that looks like the basketball or just the original black toe in orange, but I do have the third one. And so, this is obviously DS, you know, we don't wear our shoes, not all of them, only some of them. And uh, a lot of people didn't like this one because it had a black leather upper, but it's orange. And this is kind of where Jordan had their orange cell spike. So I don't know why this shoe's not called Starfish, or called Shadow Backboard, but I needed it. Jordan's with orange, they look fantastic, and so, yeah. Now it's time for the review. Starfish Air Jordan 13. They did come out with a Starfish 4. Um, I wasn't really big on that shoe. My friend's Ditto was, my boy Mo was, but the biggest thing about that was a, it was a women's exclusive. So I only went to a size 12 in women, which is a 10 and a half in men. So because I wear 13, I didn't even have a chance. I'm getting pretty tired of that, but I'm happy I won this one. If you didn't see the video where I headed to Richmond to get the Street Hawkers, you know, my little vlog with my girl, um, go check that out. But that's where we basically won it on sneakers you can see the clip in the video so go check that out <laughs> you know as we start at the front of the shoe we have tumble leather and white at the toe box as you head towards the middle of the shoe you start to see quilted leather in all white as well as orange suede at the bottom towards the midsole ending to the back of the shoe on the outside of each shoe you'll see the holographic Air Jordan 23 as well as orange suede continuing to wrap around the back of the shoe. And straight down the shoe, you have your classic Air Jordan symbol in orange, as well as tumble leather on the tongue. When you head back down, you eventually see Jordan in orange, surrounded by black. And another iconic thing on the Air Jordan 13, the pods that you see at the bottom. For this silhouette, they're in all black and it goes all the way around the shoe. If you look at the bottom of the shoe, you will also see your classic Air Jordan 13 holographic. The same one that's on the back of the heel, just without the 23. Now, if you listen to any of my other videos, I've basically told you that if Jordan came out with a classic silhouette and they put changed one color on it, I would cop all of them. I call it the Starburst Rainbow Skittles type of theme, man. I'm here for it. This shoe is super simple and subtle, but I like it that way. 
They just changed the red from a true red 13, made it orange. Like I told you, they can do that for every single color. I have this orange urban necessity shirt that somehow I bought before the shoe came out that goes perfectly with it. So I will be wearing this out whenever I'm able to go outside and play it with friends again. Now that we've gone over the shoe, let's talk about our favorite section according to my calculation. This shoe retailed at a price point of $190 for men, but it did come for the whole family, so the whole gang could have been able to get it. All right, squad up. The shoe's currently going for $220, so only $30 more, so if you didn't get this shoe, I suggest getting it. What's going on now is it's not as hype. Most people didn't get it, so they, they pass on it, and then in three years, it's $450, $500, and they go, dang, I wish I would've got it back then, so don't be that. Don't be stupid. Go get it now, you feel me? So like. I would go cop a pair for 220 and then, I mean, put them on ice or wear them. I think they're cleaning up the wear, especially for the summer. So I'll probably see a lot more of these in July and August. But I definitely think you should get, or if you're a parent, get them for your kids. I think they're just too clean and too fire not to have. You know, that's important in my calculation. Now I know most people don't like the Air Jordan 13 because it's a basketball silhouette. It's thick, most people think they can't pull it off. I think they're wrong. I think if you give the shoe a chance, you'll love it. They're comfortable, they're clean, they're subtle. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Shorts, jeans, khakis, whatever. If you weren't privy to Starfish versus Shadow Backboard, how'd you like the video? Did you learn anything or do you want to get the shoes now? If so, leave a comment below. Make sure you turn on those notifications because we got content coming real soon. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. As you head towards the middle of the shoe, you start to see twilted, quilted, built it, according to my calculations. And another iconic thing on the Air Jordan 13 